Hey guys, welcome. My name is Joan, and today I'll be talking about remote acts and we'll be reviewing remote acts, all the knowledge that I have on remote acts, and telling you, giving you tips on how to earn money with remote acts at the top level. You know, uh, I've been working with remote acts since 2020, and after a while, I left. Uh, but I have a lot of information and still now I still have information because I have a lot of persons who joined Remotax through me and I see tax gain with Remotax. So I have some information. Now, Remotax is um, a company, an AI company. They work on uh, artificial intelligence and they do a lot of things like self-driving cats. They work on self-driving cats. They work on other kinds of jobs. And uh, one of the concerns is the remote tax really pay. I want to first assure you that remote tax pay. I'm going to be showing you one of my pays uh, while I was working for remote tax in 2020. I earned $89 a week. Although the pay has reduced um, now, the pay is becoming less compared to before, uh, compared to other times, those times when I was working with them. And the reason was because um, I think they discovered they had a lot of taskers and sure they could pay less and get more people to work for them. Pay less and get people still working for them. That's I mean to say. So I, I could show you my pay. I'm going to show you definitely of, of some of the weeks I was, you know, paid. And they pay weekly. They pay weekly. Remote tax, according to the website, Currently, they said they've paid out about $15 million to taskers. So I want you to understand that remote tax is real. You can really make time, make money with remote tax. And a few things I want to say is also, a few things I want to point out. One, remote tax is not a business. It's not a business. It's a job. You know, people come up because it's digital or it's online. They feel it's an easy cash or it's an easy cash out money. It's not. So you don't go to remote tax hoping that you just take the money from thin air and or it's a gift, gift money. No, remote tax is not. You have to work and get paid. And one of the problems people have is, you know, you don't have anybody to monitor. You sit down your system um, from maybe 8 to, you know, 4 p.m. And that's the usual 40 hours in a week to get paid a good substantial uh, amount of money. But I want to tell, let the money push you. Let, you know, if you don't have jobs outside, then you probably will choose remote tax so that you can, you know, really make some cool cash, especially for some countries like in the West African, like Nigeria, like myself in Nigeria, remote tax is a good thing. We really could make some cool cash from remote tax. So it's not a business, it's a job. You are being paid for what you do all right expectations and um, um a lot of persons expect uh, maybe so much because of uh what uh, some youtube uh some youtube video says um dropbox and in a lot of money dropbox and in hundred dollar a week or uh, dropbox and in thirty dollar a week it's not like that you don't just drop boxes all right those boxes, some of them are called polygons, some of them are actually called boxes. They, they are not just boxes. You are annotating, you are filling, you are labeling, you are giving those uh, objects, names, what they really are. And those boxes need measurement, accurate measurement. They must not go, they must not be wrongly measured. So it's not just drawing boxes. So uh, when they come to remote tax, they find out that. Uh, the training gets a little bit tricky. You are not just drawing boxes. Sometimes you have to draw a polygon. You know what a polygon is? A polygon is used to draw. You can you can draw anything with a polygon. You can you know, label anything with a polygon. A motorcycle. You know a motorcycle. A motorcycle that you're not trying to label in a box. You have to add the tire. You have to add the uh, the the what they call it. Every part of the uh, every part of the motorcycle must be you know. Put in this annotation so you cannot use a box and every external part must be removed so you cannot definitely use a box to do that so you use a polygon to do that so when people come into remote tax and they find out that 
No, it's not just drawing boxes. It, it's beyond drawing boxes. And then when you see a motorcycle, you name it a motorcycle. When you see a car, you name it a car. When you see this, you name it this. It's beyond drawing boxes. So let me start with that. Let me start with telling you that it's not just drawing boxes. Those boxes has meaning, and that is what self-driving cars will definitely use. All right. Then, um, secondly, they find out that, uh, you know, the tax are not always there. You know, when people come in and then you want to, you want to tax and you find out that there are no jobs in your queue. Or what we call queue is like, um, it's like a, uh, um, a passage through, all right? So each person has an identity number and there are numbers of tasks dedicated to a tasker uh, within a period of time. If the tasker doesn't um, fight in to finish, get the tax done, it can be sent to another tasker. So your own queue contain, uh, contains some tax lined up seriously. And so after one, you get to another one. But sometimes somebody comes to his queue, just like a line of tax, and doesn't find any tax in the line. That is another observation over the over the while. I think through our 2022, a lot of persons, even in the Telegram group, has complained about that. And that is why I'm sharing this with you. The solution to this is go through a bootcamp. Okay? Go through a bootcamp. Go to a bootcamp, join the Slack, join the Slack where you can label, where you can lobby, sorry, where you can lobby for a tax. If you not, if you don't go to a uh, bootcamp, you just want to start on your own. Even my videos are not enough, all right? Sometimes I don't even uh, upload videos here for a real tax for a long time. And so if you, so you need to join a bootcamp. Why do you need to join a bootcamp? You need to join a bootcamp so that you can have access to senior trainers. You know, these guys are reviewers, super reviewers that have become trainers. So they'll be able to train you to a particular level where you can actually gain enough for you in a month. And then they make it possible that your task you will not be empty. So please go through Bootcamp, join the Slack. I'm going to teach you, I'm going to put in the registrations links for Slack, for uh, remote ads, and also for your payment method. I'm going to be putting that in the links in the uh, description, in the description below. So you join the Bootcamp, you go through the training for seven days. Nobody just starts a job without going through training. So when you go through the training for seven days, even sometimes during the training, you can get paid, you can be given some money, and that would be beautiful too, all right? So you can aim during the training. Now, let's move to the next item. The next question people ask me, people fail, um, is the payment method, you know, so people goes, go ahead to select uh, what they call it, PayPal, instead of ATM. And if you, if you, if you, if you, PayPal is not in your country, like we have in Nigeria, PayPal um, has some limitations in our country, we are limited, we don't have PayPal full operation in our country, so we can't use PayPal. Um, if you go ahead to use PayPal, your funds or your wages or salary is locked up in PayPal, you will definitely not be able to withdraw the money. So for me, the payment method I advise everyone, everyone to use is ATM. I have an ATM account. I have been using it since uh, 2020. Okay. And it's, it's just very good because it runs on the parallel um, rate instead of the official rate. So you withdraw your money at the parallel rate and you get your money into your account within, let's say, 30 minutes of saying you want to withdraw your money. And note, remote tax pays you weekly. I think on Wednesday or Tuesday, you get the money in your account. After a week, you will see the balance of what you've done written in your dashboard, in your remote tax dashboard. you see your balance before the balance is sent to you. Okay, so since I'm done with uh, the payment, 
what payment method to use. But if you know that PayPal will be good for you, you can set up your PayPal account and use PayPal. But if you, if you don't have access to PayPal, don't worry yourself. Go and get an ATM account. I'm putting my link below so that you can get and you get um you get two dollar bonus if you use my atm link and then um and then add about twenty dollars to your atm or do whatever transactions you want to do and then for the atm your verification you just need to verify with your phone number and you can do between one thousand dollars and after then they will ask you to verify with your identity card so that you can do this way one thousand to twenty five thousand dollars all right so that's how it works so now i'm going to walk you through three registrations i feel i've answered some of the questions that may be bothering it's a, a total review do remote apps pay yes they pay you let's say lead you but when you combine everything in a week you could in between um, um 10 to 50 60 70 dollars in a week depending on how much you work and depending on the tax. Yes, I remember something. This is what I remember. A lot of persons have heard that the 3D tax pays more than the 2D tax. 3D tax are majorly LIDAR annotation and LIDAR segmentation, and the 2Ds are image segmentations, image annotation, and video annotation. And then we have the categorizations tax, which is, uh, which is, um, which is a little bit easier, it just has to do with simple tax. So, someone who understands that the 3D tax pay more than 2 tax will want to do the 3D tax and leave the 2D tax. Forgetting that your computer may not be able to handle a 3D tax. For instance, I was working with remote tax with a system that um, probably, with a system of 16 gig RAM, but yet had no, had no, uh, what they call it, graphics card. I was working with a system that had a 16 gig RAM, but had no graphics card, and it had, um, it was DDR3, the RAM was DDR3. And pretty good, it was working on the 80 frames, but when B, B tax was increased to 320 frames, my system could no longer handle it. All right? Now, this is what I'm saying. Your system specification matters in remote tax. Don't go for the 3D tax when your system cannot handle 3D taxes. Go for the tax your system can handle. All right, from the very beginning, when you are going for the boot camp, they're going to ask you some questions. I'm going to lead you into how to check for your RAM, how to check for your, what they call it, your graphics card, if your system has a graphics card and you know, so that you can fill in those questions correctly, so that you can go to the right tax or right training department. If your system doesn't have a graphics card, I beg you, don't go for a 3D tax. Go for either a 2D tax or a categorization tax or data management tax, okay? Don't move. Don't move. Don't move to 3D tax. Stay in your lane, right? When you make some more money, you can get a system that can handle 3d tax i believe i've answered that correctly and you're going to see how to you know check your specifications and all of that while i'm trying to fill out your um the boot camp training training sign up all right um i don't think there's any other question you might want to know so i'm going straight into the registrations now okay okay guys uh, please avoid doing jobs anyhow make sure you do your jobs very well so that you won't get banned from the from any projects that you're working on now please i want you to watch this part of this video before the registration because this part is more important than the registration itself because if you don't get this part right you might just get registered and get frustrated so as i said we're going to the registration and um 
the first thing I want to do is to register my ATM account because that's what I'm going to be using to, you know, register, um, register the remote tax. Okay, so I'm going, I'm going to be needing the email. That's what I'm going to be registering the ATM first. And this is our uh, ATM. So the first thing to do is um, create an account. Where do you live? Are you live in Nigeria? If you live in the US or everywhere, wherever you live, okay. Continue. Sign up with Google. No, no, I need to use my link. So, this is my link here. Where do you live? Nigeria. All right, so I'm continuing and I sign up. It's real I e John. That's steamy and um so, yeah, send me a code. So you can decide to complete um your account and do the first verification. Um very easy, you fill in your address. And uh, you fill in your address, and that is that. So, the next thing you do after filling in your address, you verify your phone number. As soon as you can verify your phone number, you're verified. What I want to say about your verification of phone number is sometimes the SMS will not go, or you might not receive SMS. So, what you would do now is to um, use the WhatsApp method SMS through WhatsApp or WhatsApp Messenger, then you will receive your OTP. So now let's press for that. So after that, we go to remotax.com. Now we are signing up for remotax. So the same thing. All right. So wait. Oh, very easy. Our dashboard is greater, but we're going to, you know, fill in some details when we are going for when we are signing up for uh, the the boot camp. So you do your introduction. This is. Um, this is quite easy, but I don't want to do it now. So, all I need to do is go to remote tax. You read it and you pass. So, I go back to remote tax.com, log in. Wow, it's like I still have to do this. Whatever it is, so let's get started. Getting paid, all right. Okay, they tell you the contribution, accuracy, and the three ways they pay you. So, um, this is where they tell you that the LIDAR is more, pays more compared to other tax. Alright. The trigger payment once a week. Okay, next up is security. And they teach you about security. Read all these things. I'm going through them very quickly so that um, I can be done with it and we can proceed. So you should never install unauthorized software on your computer. True. Which of the following is considered a strong password? This. Your friend is also a task. Your friend wants to learn more about the tax you are working on. Can you tell your friend about it? No. That's their policy. You're not allowed to tell your friends about the tax you're currently doing. Not about the tax, but the yeah. You can talk about the project generally, but not about the tax you're doing. You're working on a very cool project. I want to share it on social media. No, 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 no. Fishing emails or fake emails that appear to come from a trusted sender. True. I think these are very simple questions that you can really pass. So I think um, 
I just want to quickly go through it so So they are committed to complaints and all of that. They can answer questions. And that is that. We are not retaking the course, we are pressing forward. So we are not joining Slack now. Wait, please. So we need to complete our account. Um, or you allow you to choose country. So you come here and fill in your details. Not that I'm creating this account. Verify your account for more projects. You can verify your account. And then payment. Please don't forget to come to your payment. For us, ATM. Then we put our email. Two persons cannot use the same email. So if I put a real address as gmail.com. Submit. It's going to say it's associated with another user, so you can only use one payment. Okay, so here we go. So you update your profile and your account settings and all of that. Blah 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 blah. When you are through with your account settings, these are the things you feel. So we are going back. I'm going back to the dashboard so that we can link to Slack and. It's very easy. So you can watch my video on Slack so that you understand. Um, okay, we already clicked on the see what no tax is up. So we clicked on it earlier, so it's opened in this page. So we'll go back. So this is what I want to show us. Um, continue with Google. We don't have a Slack account, but we're going to use it to create an account. So thereby, we now have a Slack account, Luxury Mutax, and it's going to open for you. You're going to see the lobby and all of them inside it. You can check my other video, my video on um, remote app changing its workspace from um, from Discord to Slack. Okay, these are taskers and. We have very large number of tasks here. So, these are just few persons. 100 recommended results. People can become your friends, okay? So, that's how to join this Slack. You see the tags already. So, as soon as I'm ready, I have all these tags. So, but we'll go to training quickly. And that's where I think we are having issue the last time, but let's see. And this website doesn't break down like this in case you feel so so just go straight to training please be fast all right these are available transcription course uh, projects and yes if you are good in english you can come and take the english uh, certification and all these courses if you know them very well all right there's no very dutch still very french So, yeah, all these projects. So we're going to, you know, this is not where we're going. We're going to sign up for bootcamp. Remember I told us that bootcamp is very important? And yeah, so you're going to put in your remote app email. I think um, one thing, one thing, all these ones you can do them yourself. Then, um, how do you check your RAM? Now they're asking for RAM, this is specification. One, you just go to your search button, and um, I don't think this is part of the Windows right now. Uh, I want to add. Um,
So, yeah. So the first thing to do is to check your RAM. And this is how you check your RAM. You go to straight to RAM. And then you view your RAM system. Okay. See my in is a 16 gig. Um, it's called i7-6 there. So you go back. Sorry. You go back to your this thing and um, it's modern. So it's 8 gig. I think you're going to select uh, the processor. Yes. Yeah. So now um, we're going to check for the video card. Mine is easy to check. Um, what you need to do is just go to NVIDIA. Um, it's not that easy for other persons. So, um, yeah. So, um, you check your speed test here yeah? while I say so you go. I'm using MTN, I'm in Nigeria, so we use MTN, MTN, NG. So we're waiting for it to load so that it tells us our speed. If it's not working, you can okay. So we have 50.6 um, so we go back there and where are we what is this where we are so we go to our first card mine is 4 gig so i'm going to select 4 gig and then you register fill up your details and register that's all all right we're done please if you are visiting this channel for the first time, subscribe, like the videos, and share with your friends, okay? You can also join our Telegram group. The link is below.